Hello, I'm Sean Charika, also known as Leo, and today we'll discuss exporting a skeletal mesh and animations from Max and setting them up so they can be ready to be imported into the UDK or Unreal 3 engine. As you can see here we have what we'll call a, a character that is complete and ready to be exported. So our first step assuming we have uh, installed the actor X plugin properly uh, is to go in here and set an output folder for for the for the character from the character's export file. Uh, well just for this assignment we'll save this on the desktop. Okay, we'll give the mesh file name. Uh, we'll call it female test. Okay, before we actually save it, we want to make sure that there are no other elements in the scene besides the character and everything in the hierarchy. And secondly, we want to go back to the motion tab and real quick set the character in a neutral pose that will be easier to work with. Okay, going back to Actor X, we have the path and we have the file name. It will save as a PSK, which is uh, which is the, the just the mesh and the skeleton and the hierarchy that's connecting between them. We'll save it. It will give us two pop-ups saying that it was written properly. And that's the file skin file field test. .psk. Okay, and that was how you export uh, the skeletal mesh. The next step is to export the different animations. For this, we will actually go back here and set up our first animation we wish to export. This animation is a basic, very simple wave that we want to save and uh, use as an, as an example. Okay. So first thing is we want to give the animation file name. Uh, we'll call it female test as well. Okay. Uh, the animation sequence name would be the name of the actual animation. In this case, since our character is waving, we'll call it wave. The animation range is really important to note that you always want your animation to begin at frame zero to avoid an occasional crash bug in ActorX. Uh, also you want to be aware of at what frame does the animation end. For this particular animation it ends at 40, so you enter the numbers in this format. Uh, the beginning, which is zero, dash, and the end, which is 40. Once you have this information in. You can click here on Digest Animation, which will give you a pop-up telling you that it was digested. Uh, so right now it loaded, it saved all the animation and loaded it into a package, so it is not yet saved into an external file. And you can see the package right here. This is the wave. You can also double check here to make sure that it was digested properly. Okay, we'll load a couple more animations before we continue. Uh, real quickly, we g we'll go into the uh, motion tab, copy paste, into track, and we'll load up, uh, let's say, the walk animation. Okay, we'll hit paste track, and it, change and it replaces the existing animation with the animation previously saved. This particular animation, is a 20 frame walk cycle. So we'll treat it as such. Going back to the actor X, we will change the animation sequence name to walk and the animation range to 0 to, f to 20. Okay. Once that's ready, we once again hit digest animation. It lets us know that it was digested. Um, we'll pop up open the animation manager to make sure they're both in there. And we'll do this very same step for one more animation. 
the kick animation. We'll paste it in. We'll double check to see it plays properly. Okay. If you'll notice, it actually it does a little jump kick, but it looks weird because it doesn't. The character doesn't actually rise off the ground. It just changes pose, which is generally what what we want for uh, in-game character, since the engine itself, in this case Unreal, takes care of of the positioning. Okay, so we have this animation, and it is continuing to move until about frame 27. So let's say this animation 27 frame long. We'll go back here. We'll rename the sequence to jump kick and the animation range to zero until till 27. Okay. And one last time we'll hit digest animation. Okay. After we're done importing all of our animations, uh, we will open the animation manager right here and this will help us set up the animations to be put in the package and this package will include all that of the set characters animations and will be ready to be imported into UDK so the first thing we want to do is probably give them a group name we'll call this female test we'll do the same for all files or we can select a bunch of them and do it at the same time. Let's see if it worked. Yep. Okay. So we have three frames. Now you, uh, this is the area where you define what which animations are going to be exported. Uh, so what we want to do is, uh, in this case, I will copy them because I enjoy keeping backups. Once they are in this area, we hit save as and type in the file name. So that would be oh we want to save to do desktop. So that would be female test okay. And we'll actually replace an existing file that was created earlier. Okay. So it lets us know okay animation file flame test PSA written bones total and sequences. Okay. So that was it both your PSK file, which is the skeletal mesh and, and uh, the character information, the skin information, and the PSA file, which is the file containing all your animations, are now ready to be imported into UDK. That concludes our tutorial. Thank you.